It is Friday night over here in South Los Angeles. Once again, there's a fire in this alley back here. We keep reporting this alley to the city of Los Angeles, to Kern D. Price's office, to the fire department and LAPD, and no one seems to care. There's a homeless encampment back there that harasses this neighborhood every single night. There is garbage dumped all along the alley, which is a health hazard and also a safety hazard because of the homeless population. I'm sorry, unhoused population period. I'm not trying to blame the unhoused population, but this is getting ridiculous, period, point blank. This is so ridiculous. There are two dogs that live back here that are in danger of being burnt by this fire, okay? This building is, is catching on fire every couple of months or every month, okay? And putting our houses in danger. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna send this to the city of Los Angeles. I'm going to send this to Karen Price's office. I'm sending this to, sending this to Mayor Karen Bass's office. Okay, someone has to do something about this. I'm t my neighbors are tired of it. I'm tired of it. We are tired of complaining about this. This is ridiculous. Okay, some person who's on drugs most likely set this fire, like they always do. Okay, some drug addict, some person that prowls the alley every single night, and I'm videotaping this right now, okay, because every single night there's someone prowling the damn alleys, and we have to yell and scream at them to tell them to quiet it down, and they are, are uh, rude. And you know, I have to say something about this generation of drug addicts. I'm not condoning people doing drugs, but people can do whatever they want with their lives while I'm videotaping this. But I know one thing, the crackheads in the past had way more respect than these fucking meth heads that prowl these alleys now in this day and age. It's a damn dirty shame. It's a damn dirty shame. I know at least the crackheads back in the days, when you would make a noise, they'd run away and they'd hide. They'd go away and they wouldn't come back. These meth heads and these other people who prowl the alleys who are on drugs right now are rude and disrespectful. They start fires constantly. They, they, they uh, gather garbage everywhere they go. And I don't understand what's the purpose of gathering so much garbage around you. What kind of human being lowers themselves to that point in life, okay, where they have to gather garbage with them everywhere they go? I feel sorry for these poor dogs that live back here who I've tried to report over and over again to the Humane Society, to the animal shelter, and they refuse to do anything about it. These dogs are in danger, our houses are in danger, our lives are in danger, and yet no one does anything about it because it's South Los Angeles. Had this been Woodland Hills, this would not be occurring around here. Mayor Karen Bass, you said you were going to do something about this, and all I've seen you do is help people out in Hollywood and on the west side of L.A. No one cares about South Los Angeles, and this is ridiculous. This is sad. The fire department is on their way. That building right there, these buildings should have been condemned a long time ago, and businesses should have been put there. Not housing, because there's building all these uh, skyscrapers and all these condominiums and so-called uh, low-income housing and affordable housing, and it's a bunch of crap, it's a bunch of malarkey, it's a bunch of bull. Okay, it's all a lie. It's all a lie to push homeowners out of their houses. Okay, I don't know what's back there catching on fire, but it's all a lie to push homeowners out of their houses and to promote gentrification. That's all this is, and that's why they allow these buildings to be burnt out like this, because they want people to be pushed out of their homes and to bring the gentrifiers in so that they can buy up all of our houses and build uh, condos and two-story buildings and things like that. This is sad, and it's, it's a disgrace. Okay, when I was growing up as a child, when my mother was growing up, this was never, nothing like this ever happened. And that's why I'm videotaping it now, because we are fed up and disgusted. Mayor Karen Bass, you should be ashamed of yourself, okay? Because all I've known and noticed is that around Hollywood, I noticed you've cleaned up over there. I noticed you've cleaned up on the west side of L.A., but you have not cleaned anything up here in South Los Angeles, and we suffer the most. That's the end of my video. The fire department hasn't even made it here yet. I've called them twice. Where are they at? I hear the sirens, but where's the fire department? I'm going to actually wait. I was going to turn the video off until the fire department, but since the fire department hasn't gotten here yet, I'm going to hold on to this and wait and see what's going to happen. I don't see anything. I hear the poor dogs back there barking, but I don't see the fire department. 
and they have the nerve to get frustrated because I called them more, more than once because I don't even think they had the address right the first time. Okay, they're putting our houses in danger. My family's owned this house since 1946, and I refuse to let my family's house be put in danger constantly because of, of, of unhoused drug addicts. Okay, I'm not complaining about the regular unhoused population who are actually trying to get off the streets, trying to find resources. I'm talking about those who are drug addicts. And, and amongst those drug addicts, I'm pretty sure there's people who want help and who need help and who are stuck. But I'm talking about the ones that are disrespectful, that cause problems. I'm not going to sit here and feel sorry for every damn drug addict that comes along. And I have yet to see the fire department back here yet. They're obviously waiting for the fire to get bigger before they put it out, which is something I've witnessed before in the past. When I lived in Hollywood as a kid, um, I remember seeing the fire department stand in front of the Star Theater on Hollywood Boulevard and wait till it went up in flames to start actually doing something about it. So I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what the fire department, the LAPD, I don't know if they're underpaid or they just don't give a damn because it's South LA. The fire department should be tired of coming to this alley and putting out fires. And by this time, they should have made reports. Um, if I was working for the fire department, I think every time I, if I had to come to the same exact spot every month, I think I would have made a report to the city and made a complaint. Okay, I hear the water being sprayed, so maybe they're on the other side of Florence. I told them to come through the alley and do it, but I guess not. That's what you get, you damn crackheads back there. I hope your asses are fucking frying back there, you bastards. Whoever started this damn fire. Look at this. I hope all the water washes your damn crackhead asses off, you bastards. I hope that water sprays on them. I'm sorry, excuse me, folks, for saying that, but this is ridiculous. Now the fire is being put out. There's smoke, a white smoke showing, indicating that I guess someone's putting the fire out. You had no business living back there in the first damn place, you assholes. That's why it's, it's, a, it's a fire every single month. There's a fire in that damn alley. Every single month, it's a fire in that damn alley. Okay, so this, I guess this ends my video that I'm taping right now. I guess this will end it. But eventually I'm going to send this to Mayor Karen Bass's office. Hopefully they'll get it. I'll send it to them online or through email or something. They're probably tired of getting messages from me. But um, I'm a very um, involved citizen, a resident of South Los Angeles, and I refuse to sit back and allow this to keep happening to my neighborhood.